another young life lost to violence in Northern Ireland. Well, Lyra McKee was just 29 years old, a journalist who uh, had a very bright future. The 29-year-old was shot dead during rioting in Londonderry on Thursday night. Lyra's death must not be in vain because her life was a shining light in everyone else's life mm -hmm. and her legacy will live on in the light that she's left behind. Thank you. There was a girl who lived in shame She thought that she was all to blame Prayed for her sin to be undone Until one night she told someone It won't always be like this it's going to get better. Lyra McKee wrote these words to herself, to her 14 year old self, as she looked back on how difficult it had been growing up gay and Catholic here in Belfast. For most of my life, I hated myself because of what religion had taught about people like me, she wrote. But one night she told her mum and she said it was like being released from prison. Don't tell me there's no hope, she said. Lyra McKee was an inspirational journalist, activist and speaker. But on the 18th of April 2019, she was killed whilst observing a riot in Derry. Outrage came from across the political world. A journalist who had told much of the untold stories of the Troubles was killed by a bullet on the anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. Leaders from across the divide gathered at Lyra's funeral here in Belfast and were all lambasted by Father Martin McGill, who said, why in God's name has it taken the death of a 29-year-old woman with a whole life ahead of her for us to get to this point? Hey! Thanks so much for coming to see us. Yeah. No. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. She's such like an iconic kind of yeah. picture now, isn't she, with a mural? How does that make you feel? It's what she deserves. Yeah. Because if she was still here today, she wouldn't just, she's, she's, she, her career would have progressed yeah. so much further. She would have made herself into an icon yeah. through her own career. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's only fitting that in her death that she does live on yeah, yeah, and yeah. people are able to celebrate her. Yeah. And I mean, her work is still continuing to sell. Yeah. People are buying Absolutely, her books. They yeah. want to hear what she had, has to say because she was everything that kind of showed what Northern Ireland could be. And I think her her work and everything she stood for would have really helped move things on here. Yeah. And it's sad that she wasn't able to be here to see that happen. Yeah. But I think in her memory, it's only right that that does happen. Obviously. Was it one of Lyra's friends who wrote that lovely article that said like, Lyra didn't die for Irish freedom, she was Irish freedom. I think she definitely, she summed it up well there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I mean, Lear would have kept her own beliefs very mm. private to herself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and her, I mean, what she really wanted was just for here to be successful and to be prosperous yeah. and to be happy and for people to live in peace together. Mm. Um, and that's, that's it exactly, like that is, that is yeah. freedom, that is Irish freedom, that's what the ideological idea behind it was so that it does it sums it up well oh thanks so much for for coming to see us yeah, Laura, no i'm um, more you. than happy to come anything anything for her yeah so um yes and i wish us all the best luck with the album and the tour it's going to be incredible thank, thank you was early, early in the spring when all the birds did sweetly sing they changed their notes from tree to tree And they sang for Lyra McKay